Somehow you were one of the lucky few to turn into a space marine. But which ones treat their space marines the best and which ones would you want to be a part of? For the sake of this video, let's imagine that you viewers were going to be turned into a neophyte for the Adeptus Astartes. But by some grand design made by the Emperor himself, you have the opportunity to be part of any Loyalist Space Marine Legion you want. And just the main part, so no successor chapters either. Cause that's too much to ask for, don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. You already get a better choice than like everybody else ever had. But like a job fair for Space Marine Legions. If you're a true champion of the Emperor, you would go somewhere that you're needed the most. I am not though. So let's go over the Space Marine Legions that you would be part of because they're pretty cool and treat you all right. Or they'll give you a nice cushy job for the hopeful hundreds of years you'll be alive. This list is in no particular order and it's just some of the best Loyalist Space Marine Legions you could be a part of. This list is spoilers based on my opinion and on the research I've done on Warhammer 40k. If you have a different list with maybe some tweaks and changes, make sure to tell me in the comments down below. But no Chaos Legions because that's highly heretical and for another video. With that onto the list. First up, we have some Space Marine chapters that would feel like a continuous party compared to the rest of the Imperium. These legions are a lot of fun compared to others and feel like total ragers the entire time. Maybe it's so you would have a high octane happy lifestyle, where even combat is celebrated, with the times after with your comrades being even better. That being said, there are some risks that come with this lifestyle. But hey man, the brightest candles burn out the fastest. One of the most notable being the Space Wolves, which are the Himbo Viking furry baras of the Adeptus Astartes. For your own sake, don't look any of the words I just set up, besides maybe Vikings. But they don't follow the ideas of a historically accurate Viking though. They built longboats to raid villages on the coastlines of northern central Europe where they needed food or wanted more worldly things. Instead, let's think of Vikings with runes, long beards, and recounting legendary stories while they drink mead in their halls, with great battles happening and them mostly using melee weapons. On these cold, horrible death worlds. But that's okay, because you're probably more resilient to it because you're a space marine. There are a few drawbacks though, and that's because mainly the Primarch Gene C quite literally has that dog in it, with wolf DNA being spliced directly into you. And this issue makes you become feral and packed like where you eventually basically just become a werewolf. Eventually, if you live enough, you'll degrade to this point. That's okay. That's okay because you get some nice exclusive big old canine chompers, and some exclusive space marine intoxicating mead that you can sip on. So is it really that bad? They also have to deal with some issues like the Prophet of Gork and Mork fighting them on their snowy Death World planet. But every fight for them is another opportunity to be seen as the Emperor's greatest warrior. And to have their stories of how they fought in battle told for centuries. Which is great if you can jive with these Nordic frat bros with wolf characteristics. Making them real party animals. Even their Primarch, Lehman Russ, who embodies the idea of hating those he hates and loving those he loves, does horrible things to keep the ones he loves safe. He is a sweetheart, but he's an idiotic and easily embarrassing to fool meathead. Which would be a huge red flag, but he's just kind of cute for that. So that's a big pass. The White Scars also party quite a bit, but not as much as the Space Wolves. With no wacky gene splicing this time around either, their gene seed has no defects. They're just kind of normal Space Marines, but they do have some interesting initiation rituals. One of them being where you get the white scar to become a white scar. Where new initiates need to mark themselves. This space marine legion is also based off of the Mongolian Empire, and they do love the Big M's, heralding him as the great unifier of mankind. But he's not a god. No one would ever make that mistake of thinking he's a god, right? The thing that makes the white scar's life particularly enjoyable is when they get on their bike. Their giant part of their culture is the entertainment they have going on these bikes and going as fast as possible, with it being one of the most fun things they think they could ever do, especially if you're on one of the worlds in that system. With you only really being able to ride horses and not going that fast before, most White Scars laugh like maniacs as they speed up and run down their enemies, going the fastest they ever had before. Sounding like a real great time if you ask me. That being said, this fun time is probably one of the most dangerous hobbies you can have. With these adrenaline junkie antics being their main form of attacks, but the dangers make it so they're out of commission real fast, making it eerily real to how fatal accidents on bikes can be. The next grouping of Space Marines are ones that are a bit more conventional for the Warhammer 40k standard. I'm just, you know, being guys, being dudes, with some changes in strategy, but overall they're generalists. You might have less fun in these legions, but more of a sense of fulfillment in your duty. If you don't really like partying and don't like being too risky, these are more for you. The Ultramarines. Usually they live a cushy life with no gene seed flaws and pure nice gene seed quality. 
Not only does the Ultramar system have some sweet, nice planets for you to live on, but the people in governing are pretty sweet too, making it so you don't really have to go against many injustices. Making it so if you're not part of a campaign, things are pretty nice when you're in centuries of service. And if you live in the Ultramar system, you also have a pretty okay life before you become a Space Marine too. For Warhammer 40k standards, that is. Because of Rebute Gilliman's gene seed not having any defects and being so pure, you get to do so much cool stuff with no repercussions at all. Making you apt and adaptable to any situation. Making it so you can use any type of weapon on the field of battle. Plus, you're a space marine, so you get to do a bunch of cool crazy stuff that most chapters don't do because they don't get the opportunity to in the lore. You get to be heralded as a hero in the Imperium. At least that's what the books tell me. This is the pick for you if you really want to enjoy being just a normal space marine, being able to really enjoy being the Emperor's finest. The Imperial Fist have some of the best job security on this list, mainly because it's one of the only legions you could reasonably do passively compared to the other chapters. This is because most of your life will be sitting in defensive positions. You can just sit down and play your Xbox all day and turn on the boulder turrets when any heretic or xenos roll up on your block. Then you can lean back watching them get turned into paste as you continue grinding and see a thieves. You do have to go through some upkeep and temperance though compared to the other legions or even chapters because sometimes you have to put on a freaky little invention to steal your resolve and meditate. This thing is called the Pangolin, and this doohickey makes it so you suffer an insurmountable amount of pain. This device must suck, but at least it gives you some excitement during a long, boring deployment. Like and subscribe if you would want to lick the magic pain glove. But overall, it's a nice place to be. Maybe a little boring, but very safe. Unless your commander thinks it's a great idea to go storm the iron cage again. The next legion is for somebody who cares deeply about others, and who wants to save lives more than completing a mission. I know this is going to be weird to say, but the salamanders genuinely have some of the best workers' benefits and ideology in all the Imperium. This has to be because of the fact that Salamanders overall care deeply about every single life in the Imperium. Unless you're a traitor or a Xenos, in which you'll toast no matter how cute or innocent you might look. They also get to see their families whenever they aren't on a campaign. Being at their homes and keeping their connection to humanity. This does suck though, because you are practically immortal, with Space Marines usually living centuries, until they fall in battle. None have passed away due to old age, and even the oldest Space Marine alive, that's not in a box, that we know of is still kicking after 1400 years with no warp trickery. So you'll see your family die, but you'll forget about that and not care as much in your second or third century in. The Salamanders do have a pretty tough initiation ritual though, where they have to go through many of the trials that Vulcan had to go through when his challenge against the Emperor of Mankind, including being on a Death World volcano planet and fighting giant lizards to the death, and being an understudy for Space Marines, while also having molten metal burned into your skin, showing that you're resilient enough towards anything. So you gotta go through a horrible series of initiations to see your family, admittedly rarely, after you've changed as a person because of the fighting and campaign you've been a part in. Just like the real military, but it's still pretty awesome. And you get to save people, so you know, it's cool. And those are my top picks for Loyalist Space Marine Legions that I would want to be a part of. Most of them got their spots for quality of life or security of life. I think gene scene defects for some chapters really suck, but the Space Wolves perks outweigh the negatives. Death Worlds also suck a lot, but who cares, you're a Space Marine. You'll be traveling through the universe and seeing many different places anyway. What Space Marine Legion would you want to be a part of? Make sure to tell me in the comments down below. And maybe like and subscribe if you like this video and want to see more from me. Till next video, fellas.